Hey guys, this is Felix from lowpowerlab.com and this is a short tutorial on how to panelize board files in Eagle for services such as iTed Studio or C Studio where they give you a surface of five centimeters by five centimeters or five by ten um, but they won't route any internals or won't do any cutouts so to take full advantage of uh, that space uh, you might want to panelize your boards uh, as long as uh, the total dimension fits within those uh, 5x5 or 5x10 or whatever the uh, board dimension is that you're uh, buying from those services. So uh, this is uh, a Motino panelized board that I made for uh, uh, my Motino boards and I submitted this to iTed Studio and I have a, another video uh, where I show how these actually uh, came out and uh, so I want to show how I actually did this. This is the final outcome and what it is is just a copy of the original board and then a line uh, marked with soul screen in the middle and I, I put that in the middle so, so that I can uh, actually cut this at home and you can actually check the ITED review uh, video that I posted and I'll show you in that video how I actually cut this uh, very easily using a tile saw. So uh, what I do is I start with the original board and that's just uh, the regular board that I laid out in Eagle and what I do is I make a copy of that and that's going to be the panelized version and I rename it to make it relevant, then I open it up in in the board layout editor. And the first thing I want to do is select all the layers except the dimension layer, which is the outline of the board. And you'll see in a minute why. And then I go to select uh, group, and then I select everything. Then I click the copy. I right click anywhere and then I say I choose copy group. What that does is creates a uh, exact duplicate of whatever I had selected in that group. And then I want to you know sort of align whatever I'm copying with uh, the source so that they're aligned on the final layout and then just move it up to another position and you know, this space in the middle is up to you to decide how thick this is, depending on how you're going to cut this. Uh, the tool that I'm using to cut this has a blade that's about 1.6 millimeter thick. So uh, I just chose a thickness of 50 mil. So uh, it depends on how you're going to cut this yourself. It's up to you to decide. Anyway. So uh, now I have two copies of my board and then of course you can make more if you want. Same way you can just uh, select everything, uh, click the copy tool, right click anywhere, say copy group, and then you're making you know, another copy of this. So uh, I'm not going to show it to you with four copies just because it's, I'm going to have to draw more lines, but uh, next thing I want to do is just draw a uh, simple line to mark the uh, space between the boards and I choose the line tool I make sure this is on the either on the top place or on the top silk screen uh, layer I'm just gonna put it on the top place for now I'm gonna give it a width of let's say 40 mil and I'll just draw a line and then this is solid, so if you want to make it uh, dashed or something else, they have a couple options here. So you could do it that way, or you can have a short dash, or even dot it. I chose a short dash from for my boards just because I like it. And then uh, one final thing, we're going to uh, show the dimension layer. And this is going to have to be adjusted 
So the top two corners will have to be repositioned to show the outline of your panelized board. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get video updates when I post them. Cheers.